Kind of weird to think that this is gonna go in my hair, honestly. Today I'm going to be creating two DIY hair gels and then comparing those hair gels to the performance of my store-bought hair gel. It's from the Gatsby Company and it's called the Perfect Hold Wax Extra Hard. So I just put it on my fingertips, just kind of brush it forward. This is what my hair looks like when it has the hair wax that I use every day. The texture of my hair when the Gatsby is in it is pretty soft. It doesn't make my hair crunchy or greasy, and that's actually how I'm gonna be judging the natural hair gels that I make today. And then also, the appearance, of course, is gonna be a big factor in how I judge the gels. The first recipe that I'm gonna be making today is gelatin based. This recipe is very simple, so all I need is gelatin, lavender essential oil, and some water. The recipe requires me to double boil some water and gelatin. Basically, the recipe just said stir over low heat until the gelatin is completely dissolved. So, anyone know any good jokes? Once I've done that, I just add a few drops of the lavender essential oil. It's mostly just to give the gel a nice little smell. It says, I'm supposed to just add a few drops of lavender essential oils. Oh wow, this is strong smelling. One, two, three, four, five, okay. This is going in the fridge for one to two hours and then I'll be able to try it out. Now I'm going to make the second DIY hair gel and this recipe calls for flaxseed and aloe vera gel and a little bit of lavender essential oil. The recipe told me that I needed to soak my flaxseed in water overnight. This recipe, because it doesn't use gelatin, is apparently vegan, which is pretty cool. It's a very grainy mixture. It's steaming. There's like a white froth that has developed on the edge of the thing. It definitely has the consistency of a gel. So what I'm supposed to do is pour it through a cheesecloth and then strain out the flax seeds. There we go. It's a little gross looking, the used cheesecloths. But there's like really barely any flax seed left in this. I'm just trying to get the aloe vera gel to disintegrate, which is actually harder than it looks. Who wants this in their hair? So this is my flaxseed hair gel. It's a much watery consistency than I anticipated, but I'm going to let it set for a little bit and then I'm gonna try the hair gels out. It is time to try out my DIY hair gels. I'm wearing a towel wrap right now because I washed out all of the product that I used earlier because I wanna actually give a fair judgment on how well this hair gel works. This is the first hair gel I made. This is the gelatin-based hair gel. We let it cool for a few hours. Usually if I shower and I have to get ready, my hair is at about this level of dryness before I apply gel, so I think this is a pretty fair shake. It's got a pretty solid texture. Like it's, I'm pressing with like a decent amount of strength I am a little worried that once I start using it, it will feel just like I'm putting gel in my hair. I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is crush it in between my hands and apply it like I would any gel. Oh, oh, well, so this is what it looks like after trying to crush it in my hands and turn it into a gel. It still doesn't really have that traditional gel texture. I mean, I guess we should just go for it, right? Like, I don't know. Again, I'm gonna do what I normally do with my hair, which is brush forward, then through. Gel smells nice. I mean, it's holding its shape. As it is right now, my hair looks pretty good. There are little bits of jelly and gel that are just sort of like sitting on the top of my hair. That is gonna be a bit of a knock against it. My hair doesn't feel particularly greasy, and you can tell there is product in there. I guess only time will tell. I think it looks like hair gel you bought from the store. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. When you use your regular product, I feel like you get more volume on top. Gotcha. So it's just like a different hairstyle entirely, which is fun. How do you guys think it compares to my usual hair? I like it because it looks lighter. It looks like a little bit lighter and a little what? I think it looks different. It doesn't like push your hair up and back. It just kind of leaves your hair doing what it would naturally do with a little bit of hold. So my hair is again in a towel wrap because it is drying. Most people thought that the first gel performed pretty well. Most people did notice that like, 
The volume of my hair was a little bit less than it usually is, and I think people noticed that my hair had a different texture than it normally does. Now we are going to try hair gel number two. I think gel is a very, very loose term for what this is. My biggest concern with this gel is just that it is not going to have much hold because it's so wet. These were all the ingredients, so you'd hope it would look more like a gel, but then again, we don't know how it's gonna perform until I actually try it out. Let's just remove my hair wrap. Whew. It smells very strongly of lavender, just like the other product. When you actually put it in your hand, it is a little bit like a gel. It's not super sticky, which I like. So let's go. Based on the way my hair looks in the mirror, I think this is working okay. This gel doesn't leave any residue in my hair. I'm a little bit worried it's gonna be pretty oily once it's dry, but we'll see. I also am a little bit concerned that when it dries, it's going to lose its shape and lose its volume. I mean, I like it so far. Sleek okay. and subtle, but like your hair looks in place. You think the texture is better than the first one? Yeah. If you just walked in like this, I don't think I would think that anything was amiss. I think the gel that you use daily definitely has more hold and is able to give your hair that swoop. Sure. I don't I don't know that this one does that, but this one does look really nice. I think it looks pretty normal. It's a little less tall. Mm -hmm. I think sure. it's like it's usually taller on the top. Yeah. I wouldn't look at you and be like, Jen, your hair is totally different today. Okay. Unless you ask me. This one feels lighter. Yeah, right? it's, it's a lot lighter than the other one. Sure. I, I will say, I think I do like this one a little bit better mm -hmm. because the ends of your hair for the last one were a little bit more like um, sharp. Sure. And okay. this looks a little bit more natural. People seem to be on board with this one. The day is done. I have tried both gels. I have gathered a bunch of opinions. I feel like the gel that we made with flaxseed had a better texture when dry than the gel that we made out of gelatin and the, the product wax that I normally use. On the first DIY gel with the gelatin, I didn't hate the way it looked. I just didn't love the way it felt. It's kind of cool that you can craft hair gels that work and do look pretty comparable to store-bought products in your own kitchen. Like, I think that's dope as and I think if you're inclined to try a product that's more natural, or in the case of the flaxseed gel that is vegan, I think you should go for it because these DIY gels were honestly pretty easy to make. But if you're a little bit lazy like me and you just want to throw stuff on your head and, and not worry about it, you're probably gonna stick to your old, you know, store-bought gel and that's okay too. DIY hair gels. Uh, lady tested, lady homemade. Or lady pomade. That seemed better.